welcome back to my channel. For those of you here, I'm Liliana, and in today's video, it's a very exciting one because it's a hot trend right now on Instagram and YouTube. It's called the Buttercream Palette Knife Flower Technique. If you guys want to see how I made this, well, keep on watching.
so I made this cake using palette knives, as you can see in the video. And these can be bought at any art supply store, but I will link these down below in my description box. So you can go ahead and if you're interested, look at uh, the link down below. But in the video, what I used was pretty much these, I think. I'm not sure if I used this one, but yeah, these for sure. So um, I'm going to try to explain it the, the best that I can because it is kind of a difficult to explain it because you do need um, a little bit of practice i'll be very honest with you i would first of all practice on maybe a silicone uh, sheet or a parchment paper so like that uh, you can feel and really uh, get the hang of your palette knife but basically for the large flowers or the large petals, what I did is that I used a little bit of buttercream on the side only, and then I pressed it on my cake and kind of gave it a little bit of twist. And by doing it, like the buttercream pushes on the, um, the cake and then it creates that petal effect. And then for the inside of the petals or smaller flowers, what I did is that I, uh, put some buttercream right here on the palette knife and then press it down and then it created um, little petals on the inside. For the colors uh, that I was using, it was a mix of colors. I used some pinks uh, mixed up with some whites. I also used a little bit of orange. And what I like to do is create different shades of color and then mix it up. So when I do my petal, you get all these nice colors and it kind of gives it like uh, a nicer, like almost realistic effect as if you would have like one color, for example, my preference. I know there's a lot of techniques out there for me. That's the one that it works. But like I said, um, you would have to obviously practice and then you kind of have like your own little uh techniques but for me that that's what works and for the inside i just used a little bit of um uh greenery and then i actually mix it with a little bit of gr uh, gray so like that it kind of gave that the greenish darkish um middle side on the inside and then um yeah and i finished the look using um edible metallic paint at this point it's this is not sponsored but i mean come on rainbow dust they should sponsor me um i think every time i use uh, edible metallic paint i'm here showing you the product because i really 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 love this product and as you can see it says 100 percent edible so this comes in a liquid form very use, easy to use and it's ready to use it you don't have to mix it with anything else but if you do uh if you are going to airbrush it i do suggest it's going to be hard especially i don't depending on what airbrush you have uh normally you have to dilute it with a little bit of vodka or if you're not um you don't like the fact of using vodka you can go ahead and use it with a little bit of lemon extract because it has it is, it is quite thick so if you want to thin it down so that it goes uh, through better your um, airbrush gun then you would have to dilute it but other than that you can simply use it directly and it's just amazing and it comes in dif different shades they have two kinds of golds they have the lighter one i don't really like the lighter one because it has like a more yellowish color but they have so many other colors and again this will be in my description box so you can go ahead and look at the link down below and yeah oh to paint i don't paint directly to my cake what i do is that once i finish the entire look i pop it in the freezer for five to ten minutes so that my buttercream comes hard and then i can go ahead and paint it do not uh, do your whole entire design and go paint on it you're going to destroy your design so make sure that the buttercream has set is hard and then you can go ahead and then create the little details with the metallic paint and that is it i really hope you guys enjoyed this one i really really loved how it turned out i'm even thinking of doing a second one that's how much i loved it and i really really enjoyed playing with these and i'm wondering what what else can i do with these they're like so 
they're actually, once you get the hang of it, you can do so many different styles. And yeah, so I might do a second video with it. They even have weird ones like this. So I'm gonna see what else I can do. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell button so you get notified of all the videos that I put up. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.